Hey kiddos, Rachel here. Welcome to your functions class. This class is going to be for the entire year and by the end of it hopefully you'll have two algebra credits and either be able to take the algebra regents or get that regents waiver. So let me just go over the syllabus with you before we dive into some actual content. So on the top here you have some very important information. Uh, first of all you've got uh, the Google Classroom code right there. Very important. Make sure you are enrolled. You also have my name and my co-teacher's name, Karen. If you need us for any reason, do not hesitate to email us or text us or call us with those phone numbers. Also, if you need any extra help, it uh, might be super useful uh, to make an appointment with me or Karen on Calendly. Uh, essentially, I'm going to be free Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 3.30 to 4.30. If one of those times doesn't work for you, again, shoot me a text or an email and we can work something out. So a little bit about the class. Uh, we're going to be exploring things like functions, tables, graphs, and patterns. We're going to use some real world problems. Um, I have our semester one units in there. Um, you know, some of these might look familiar to you. Uh, we got units for the second semester right there. And some of the stuff we're going to be using uh, is down here. So these might look familiar from last year. If not, like, don't sweat it. We're going to go through all this stuff together. All right, so now the good stuff. Uh, attendance. So attendance is required for every class session. We're going to be live, in other, in other words, synchronous, uh, for the first 30 minutes and you must be there, you must be on time. I'm gonna be logged on a little earlier. Feel free to jump in, we'll chat, we'll play a fun game, something like that. Um, if you can't attend, please have some kind of note or some information for the office so they can mark you as excused. Otherwise it's gonna go in as unexcused. Um, nobody wants that. Okay, uh, eventually when I know what time you're meeting, I'm making this over the summer, so we will have either the hours that we're meeting or the actual uh, Zoom meeting link. We're gonna be meeting on Zoom. All right, so the synchronous instruction, this is the grading policy. Uh, the first 30 minutes of every single 90 minute class block uh, is gonna be live. I'm gonna be on Zoom, you'll have the link. I'm gonna put it in Google Classroom. I can text it to you, I can email it to you, whatever you need. Um, every time we are synchronous, we're live, you're going to get some kind of assignment. Uh, let's say we play a game, your participation is required, you'll get 100 uh, for just being part of that activity. And uh, you're kind of expected to be engaged, you know, type in the chat, use the reactions. Uh, if we're playing a game, it's hoot, answer the questions. And uh, please either have your camera on or some kind of profile picture, like a picture of your face just so uh, people can see who you are. You can use a Snapchat effect if you want, but make sure we can actually see uh, your face. Um, use the mic when instructed to. I mean, I don't want you screaming throughout the whole lesson, but if I say, you know, turn your mic off and clear out, uh, you're expected to do so. Uh, if you are absent, it happens. Uh, just let me or Karen know ahead of time if you can. Uh, make an appointment on Calendly to make up that grade. It is going to be 25% of your final grade. So if you miss a day, try to make it up um, or don't miss a lot of days so it won't really affect your grade. So the options are uh, you can be either on time, party, or unexcused. So make sure you're there on time. Easiest part of that section of the grade book. All right, then there's asynchronous. That means independent or on your own. That's a bigger chunk. It's going to be 35% of your grade. Uh, I'm going to give you something to do after our live session. It's going to be half an hour to an hour of work. Uh, you can definitely complete it before the end of that 90 minute block. Uh, I'm going to give at least one of those per week, probably two. And uh, if you happen to complete it before the end of the 90 minute block, uh, I can totally hook you up with some iBooks. Uh, that's like our virtual money. You can eventually get some innovation swag with that or some gift cards. We'll talk more about that as the year goes on. But uh, yeah, just stay on top of that. Uh, mostly going to be some Ed Puzzle stuff where you watch a video, answer questions will be cute. And as far as assessments go, you're going to get at least one quiz and test per marking period. 
might be on Google Forms, might be on Edpuzzle, might be something else, I'm still exploring my options. And you'll have uh, at least two of those, so at least one of those won't kill your grade, basically. Um, and I haven't really thought about like test corrections or making stuff up yet, but that's definitely a discussion that we can have. And uh, late policy, uh, this is for the whole school. You can hand something in uh, two weeks after it's assigned, uh, but no later than that, um, unless you're at the end of the marking period and then work is just kind of due at the end of the marking period because the grade book uh, closes. If you need any help with any of your work that's running late, uh, definitely make an appointment on calendar for some extra help. And we have a blurb down here on academic integrity. Basically, don't plagiarize. Um, make sure you're submitting stuff that is original content. Uh, we're going to be able to tell otherwise. Uh, so that is the overview of our course and the syllabus. Um, we also have a Google site for this. Uh, when you get a Google Doc copy of this, click on this link right here. That'll take you to the site, walk you through the curriculum, some resources. And that'd be really helpful. But uh, if you have any other questions, you know, just reach out and uh, can't wait to get started with you.